13 foot garage with a party deck and screen, massive table where you can easily fit six, full kitchen of course, and a bedroom up front. Folks, this is the 2021 Forest River Ozark 2500 THX. And as with any toy hauler, I personally always like to start in the garage. And we're not going to do anything any different on this 2500 because, folks, this is a 13-foot garage. So that way, if you have, uh, you know, something a little bit longer, you're able to fit it in here. Now, bear in mind, you probably won't be able to get in most side-by-sides simply because you have a little bit on both sides here. They're going to prevent you from doing that. You know, you have a little bit of a lip here, and then you have the kitchen. Uh, it is 6'1 from the back up to here is about what you have. So if, you know, you are looking to fit something that's going to take up the whole length, make sure you take a measurement to see what you're able to fit. But again, it is that 13 foot. So if, you know, you're stacking a couple quads in here, motorcycles, things like that, um, you know, maybe a golf cart, you have the space in which you can do so. Now, as I mentioned in the very beginning, right out the back, you will see your ramp and on there is also your screen with the zipper in the center, makes it very easy to get in and out. And you have the full party deck. Folks, that's, if you haven't had that experience before, it really is awesome. You can sit outside on a beautiful day, you know, set up a couple of chairs out there. It's easy to get in and out. This table is removable. So that way, if you are sitting outside, you can just come right in, use the bathroom, and then head right back out onto the party deck. Uh, the thing I do love here, though, is just how large this table is, you know, because when it comes to toy haulers, it's not just about hauling toys. Yes, absolutely. If you have quads, if you have motorcycles, this is a great option. But the other thing I love about this is it's just a, a great RV to just have a lot of people in. You know, you have two single beds back here. The center drops down, so you can sleep two additional adults back here, plus have two up front. And as you can see, I mean, you can easily fit three people, possibly even four on here. So you can have six to eight people hanging out right back here, everyone having a meal together, playing a game together. If you want to be the center of entertainment at the campground, this is an excellent unit to do it in. The other thing I really like is the backrest. I've seen some other manufacturers try to kind of pull off a similar layout, but the problem is the backrest is just like a really thin cushion and it becomes really uncomfortable because of the space you have here. Like my, my legs can't make it off. They're like dangling and I don't have any back support, but that's not at all the case here. It's a nice angled cushion. It's very comfortable. I can sit back. Um, I think they absolutely nailed it with this back space. And plus it looks nice. You know, it's a leather at bottom too, so it's easy to clean. You spill a drink on here, no problem. You can wipe it right up. Uh, you have electrical outlets and USB ports on both sides. So if you do sleep here, you have a place to plug in your cell phone. Or again, you know, if, if your phone dies while you're sitting here playing, you can plug it in. If you notice on the other side, you have a, uh, a bottle opener there. So, you know, if you need to reach in from the party deck or, you know, if you're right back here, you can hand your buddy your bottle. He can pop them open. Be the designated bottle opener right over there. Windows on both sides. Now, uh, you have some more windows up front. We'll see in just a bit. But it really lets a ton of natural light in here. Plus, it's very well lit. If you notice up top on the ceiling, you have two rows of LED lights. That's another thing I think they nailed. Uh, a lot of manufacturers, when it comes to toy haulers, will just have like a single row, and it just becomes dark, and, and that's not great, right? I mean, you know, if you, if you have the back shut, it's pretty dark, but not at all the case in here. Nice and bright, whether it is day or nighttime. You also need some additional storage. So if you take a look right up there, you will see storage going all the way across the top. You have the nets uh, right over there. And then if you move over a little bit further, you get into the kitchen storage and you can see the frosted glass up top. You have the nice poles, kind of like an oil rub bronze pole there. I'll open that up so you can take a look. Uh, I'm, I'm personally not a huge fan. This is, again, very minor. When it comes to aesthetics, I'm not a huge fan of the oil rub bronze on the dark wood, um, especially when you have like a, br a brush nickel faucet. You know, I, I would have liked to just have these brush nickel. I think it would have just looked a little bit better. Um, I, I'm sure that... You know that uh, Forest River has a ton of these on some other lines, and so they order them in bulk, and so it makes sense to use them in here as well. Uh, but again, for me, I just very minor, and it, it is something. If it bothered me enough, I could change it out, right? You can change out some pulls easy enough. Couple screws, new pulls, good to go. But uh, as far as the aesthetic piece, I I would have preferred a different color. Is all. Uh, right over to the side is your Furion microwave and the Slimline Furion hood with the light and a fan. Right below that, your three burner cooktop. This one does have the light up knobs if you're into that look. 
Uh, also, the bottom one lights up both the knobs and also the oven light. So that way, if you need to bake some stuff, see what's in there, you can do so. Three burner cooktop, as I mentioned, the front one is high output. It is also recessed with the glass cover. So that gives you additional prep space. Plus, when you fold it up and back, that basically acts as your backsplash. Right over to this side, you will see they went with a single bowl, large basin sink. It is very deep, it is very big. I personally really like this because it gives you options. If you wanna bring residential pots and pans, you can actually fit them in here because the sink is so big. If you need to wash dishes, you can just buy like a little basin to put in there, have a little wash basin, it's still very manageable. Uh, you'll also see that it comes with the drying rack here too. It can also double as prep space. High rise faucet, of course, underneath. You'll see this right there. And the thing I love about this, folks, is they left enough room for a trash can. Again, something that is very rare in a toy hauler. A lot of times, you know, they, the, you know, they, the manufacturers of toy haulers really look at the garage space and make sure they nail that down. But a lot of times the living side of it, you know, where you have to cook and clean, um, you know, a lot of that just it kind of gets overlooked, but not the case. I think they nailed it on, uh, you know, making sure there's enough space for a trash can, upgraded countertops, no T-mold or anything like that. Uh, also, I like this too. Underneath, I think they did a good job here. You know, they have all this covered up. It's one solid piece. I've seen some other manufacturers do a little bit different. It just doesn't look nearly as good. You know, uh, the, the wood right here is covered. It's very finished looking to me rather than having raw exposed wood, which I have seen some other manufacturers do. And then of course your legs are tucked right underneath there. You wanna make sure you put those down before you sit on it. That is what gives you support. And then as you would expect folks, you can fold those up onto both sides that way. You know, you can, it's not just the centered area. You have this whole space uh, as that usable garage space. When I talked about the big windows, those will be located there. So you have two more windows, again, just letting in a ton of natural light, electrical outlet there as well. Kind of that beautiful herringbone floor pattern. You can see your D-rings located all right up the center here. So plenty of places to strap down your toys if you do bring some along. Drawer. I want to point that out. You do have a large drawer underneath your oven. This is important because you have to have a place to put your flatware. And you can see you can put a divider in there and you still have enough room on the side for maybe, you know, a few hot pads, towels, uh, and maybe some of your larger utensils. So even though it is just one single drawer, it is a very large drawer compared compared to most. So you can it kind of act as two drawers in one. You'll see here your fridge freezer combo. This one does run off both propane and electric automatic switch over there. The thermostat's right here on the outside. Very easy to control. It does have a cutout for some of your taller items too. And they went with the stainless looking panels uh, here on the front. Above me is the AC with quick dump. So you can open this up rather than have it go through all the duct work. You can open it up right here and all that cold air will dump in this main area, which I'm telling you, if you're sitting here, if you're cooking, if you're hanging out, this is a great option because it'll really make sure this main garage space gets nice and cool really quickly. Perfect for loading and unloading as well. And then, you know, a few hours before bed, close it off so that way the bedroom can get nice and cool up front. But I do like the uh, quick dump option there. If you want TV, you'll see right where that is located. They did put a backer in the wall. Of course, connections right up top. This is your thermostat for both uh, your AC as well as the heat. Multimedia center down underneath. This one does have an HDMI as well as a USB input. Your control panel is located here, including water pump heater. And then you will have the uh, tank monitoring panel there. And underneath, these are mirrored. I'll open that up, but again, just some additional storage. And then you do have a little bit of storage underneath there too. So if you wanna kick off your shoes, you might be able to turn them sideways. You can't fit a ton, but you can probably fit one or two under there, which is kind of great. You know, if uh, you know for entering and exiting the RV, if you just wanna put some flip-flops under there, I know, you know, myself, if I have to, you know, go to the facilities real quick, uh, just throw on some flip-flops, head right out, convenient to have there. Making our way up a little bit, of course, you have a bathroom. Oh, exhaust vent, you'll have two of these, one here, one in the opposite corner, very standard issue for uh, toy haulers. Coming into the bathroom, foot flush lever toilet, folks, and I have space all the way around. I mean, you can see here, more room than I know what to do with. Plenty of leg room, great shoulder space. This one is a plastic bowl. Um, you know, I personally would have preferred to have porcelain uh, just because, you know, it's uh, easier to maintain. That's probably one of the things I would switch out uh, if I were to, to purchase this one. Um, as far as space, you should be pretty good. It looks like you have pretty good space on both sides. So I don't think it'd be too much of an issue. Definitely something you want to talk to, to a tech about. But uh, that is, again, that is probably one of the changes I would personally make. You know, if I'm going to give a fail to this RV, despite, you know, they have all, they've nailed it in a lot of different places. Uh, you know, again, I wish that would have been a porcelain bowl. Stepping into the shower, 
I'm six foot tall. You'll see with the skylight, folks, a ton of room. I could probably be six two or so. Uh, even without the skylight, I can still stand all the way up, I'll, although barely. You know, if I'm much taller, if you're six one, you probably have to stand under the skylight, which may or may not be tricky. Let's see here. Ah, yeah, it's not bad. You got pretty good space. I mean, I can stand right here, still be under that skylight. So definitely manageable, even if you are a little bit taller. Um, I also like the doors right here being in the roller track because what happens is when you shut the door, all the water goes right down that door into the shower base, right? Rather than like a swing open door, or especially a curtain where a lot of times you'll get a mess on the floor. Hand wand right there and then a couple of shelves. Um, your travel lock. Now, I, I am going to warn you folks, um, I've seen quite a few of these and it's a pretty thin material. So it does work in theory, but you know, if it's really cold, this does crack kind of easy. So just know that uh, this will probably be something you, you'll be replacing in the future. Um, you know, just, just from the pure nature of it, because this has to go over a knob that is much larger and get stretched out. You know, if you keep it out in the cold, it gets a little brittle and uh, chances are you'll be replacing that, but not, not a huge deal. Uh, right here, you will see your medicine cabinet. I do like the medicine cabinet. Um, you know, a little bit of lip on this one, a little bit bigger on the bottom, of course, for some of those items. That way they're not falling out when you're traveling. You'll see your electrical outlet there sink again uh the the countertop doesn't have t-mold which is nice you'll see storage underneath there too so a little bit of spot for you know your black tank chemicals toilet paper maybe some reading material you know it depends on how long you're going to hang out in there um but that is a good space for it stepping up into the bedroom so i do want to show you underneath the bed right there so you'll see this this is kind of cool because you got a little bit of space here now if you want to put some totes or something there you can even you know i i don't know this is me maybe i'm crazy but i'd probably put just like a kind of like a long tote and probably use it for dirty clothes just because it's easy to access you know i can just pull it out if i need to run to the laundry mat real quick i can do so uh, but that way it gets it out of the way it's also a good spot for shoes underneath so i talked about having easy access flip-flops or if you want like uh, some some RV slippers, right? Like house slippers, if you camp when it's a little bit colder or you know you just want something a little bit softer on your feet, it's a good spot there. Nightstands on both sides, USB ports, electrical outlet. Open that up, you can see there is your wardrobe and you have storage up top. Now again, this is one of those things where you know I would have liked to have seen a strut support. Not a huge deal, I can still do it, but you know, especially being over the bed, it's just a little bit harder to access but preferred if it was a strut for one hand access there. Emergency exit here on the side, window on the other side. If you want a TV, you will see there's a spot located right here where you can have one installed. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2021 Ozark. 2500 THX and folks as you can see this one does have the ascent package on it uh, one of the things that does is changes the sidewalls to fiberglass you'll see in just a second and gives you this beautiful smooth metal front right here which is easy to clean and it looks really sharp you'll also see the diamond plating in the front how to protect that front end from rocks and debris to get thrown up by your tow vehicle and if we dive underneath you will also see a battery disconnect right there which I like that as well because that way when you're done using it, you can just flip that and it will kill uh, all power to the RV. So that way it's not getting that small drain on the battery. Of course, rails for your battery there, two 20 pound propane tanks. And this one does come standard with a power tongue jack. So that does make setting up and disconnecting a lot easier. Of course, as you'll notice, you have the light right there on, up front, uh, just to give you a little bit of added visibility at night and manual override in the rare event that it does fail. Coming around to the side, as I mentioned, you can see the side, you have the smooth aluminum, or sorry, the smooth um, uh, fiberglass all the way down the side here. Solar prep, if you want solar, there it is. All I have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge the battery. Taking a dive in the pass-through. So uh, for me, this is split, right? I think they nailed it and failed it here. I think they nailed it because this is a huge pass-through. You can see you share that access underneath the bed. But not only is it a large pass-through, but look at the size of the doors on here, folks. I mean, you have massive doors, which allow you to really fully utilize this front space. And I love that the manufacturer did that. So you can fit some of those bigger items in there. In fact, you know, in the far end, I don't know if you saw, but we actually have the spare tire uh, hanging out right there because, you know, you can actually get it in there, which is not super common for a lot of your pass-through compartments. Uh, where I think they failed is that there's no light in here. I would have liked to just, you know, even if it's just one LED light on your main campsite, I would have liked one light in case I am getting in there at night. I don't have to bust out a flashlight. Uh, it just makes life a little easy. So you'll see power awning with the LED light strip. Again, you know, just touch a button, roll that out and in. Of course, just flip on the LED lights. They so don't have to 
worry about hanging up any lights or anything like that, unless you have some, you know, cool flamingo lights you want to put up there. Uh, but otherwise, the LED light will light up your campsite, which is pretty great. You also have speakers out here if you want to listen to some music. Those are connected to the multimedia center uh, unit that we saw inside. That unit is Bluetooth capable as well. To get into the 2500, you will see you have these solid steps, aluminum treads, adjustable feet. Uh, the aluminum treads here won't rust, plus the grip tape gives you some extra traction when you're walking up and down. You can see, I mean, I bounce on here. You know, those legs are uh, really, they're extended really far, and it still barely has any flex to it at all. And I mean, I'm not a small guy. I'm, I'm well over 200 pounds. Uh, you'll also see the foldable grab handle right here, and that does give you some extra control from that first step all the way in, and then same thing when you're coming back out. Those vertical windows we saw inside look really sharp outside. You know, you have one in the bedroom, two right here. Uh, I like the, the tall window like that. It really lets in a lot of natural light and just gives the, that you know, nice look to the exterior. You have the electrical outlet right there in case you need to plug anything in. Again, your second speaker. Stabilizer jacks on all four corners as you would expect. And then right back here is the ramp. You can lock it up so that way if, you know, again, someone's sleeping back here or you have toys back here and you're leaving, you don't have to worry about anyone getting in there. Right up top there is backup camera prep. If you do want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. You will also notice the helper spring, so it is easy to lower that down. Your cable and satellite inlet right over to the side. You will see here your 30 amp power cord just gets housed right in there. You can pull it out, plug it in. That will run everything inside, including microwave, TV, and AC. You also see your water inlet. So if you don't have city water, you'll want to make sure to fill the fresh water tank, and that's where you'll find the inlet there. If you do have city water, that'll be right down to the side. And you also have water access outside. Whether you need to wash off your feet, spray down the dog, or just fill up a basin, you have the capability to do so here. Black tank flushes up a little bit further. This, of course, washes out your black tank. I do recommend doing this every time you're done camping. That way, any paper or anything else, any solids on your in your black tank will get washed out there, and you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet any longer to do it. You just hook it up right there. It has sprayers built in. It washes everything out for you. Dropping down, you'll see your termination with both your black and gray tank valves right there. Uh, as far as the location, you know, it's not my favorite. I, I do prefer it to be you know, a little bit further behind the tires. Um, just, you know, if, so if you hit a rock or anything, it's not gonna take them out. But if you're backing into the campsite, right, I guess they're a little bit safer up here. Uh, the only other thing on this toy hauler, folks, is that this one does not have a uh, generator, nor does it have fuel tank. So if those are, uh, you know, really big selling points for you, then the 2500 Ozark probably is not for you. Um, but if you're looking for something that has a 13 foot garage, amazing amenities inside, absolutely gorgeous, power tongue jack, you know, it comes with the party deck. This one's a good option, so definitely check it out. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2021 Forest River Ozark 2500 THX, and as I mentioned, this one does have the Ascent package. If you're interested in this toy hauler and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Also in the comments section, let me know what you think they nailed, what they failed, or if you were designing this RV, what you would change. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.